Did you already mention this pile had scoliosis? Scoliosis, you can see that. There are certain restrictions. I would have liked to have more of a pond collecting water that comes, yeah. that collects here, but we couldn't do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, how do you see the future of the college? I mean, uh, it seems that uh, it's a bit of a turning point because if the accreditation mm -hmm. uh, efforts, mm -hmm, maybe mm -hmm. you can say something how you see the future of the college. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, from my perspective, particular perspective, from my angle, um, I, I would like to see also some work with biodynamics and working with the land that it could some of these some of that work that it could be accredited in some form yeah um, I would not be leading this work I'm not an academic uh, but it would be good if people could take courses either do say maybe um, a bachelor's completion mm -hmm. course in you know uh, environmental sciences or yes. something of the like yes, yes. and maybe in, in time even more we would have to realign our work we would have to maybe we could have do two tracks that we have classes that we have students uh, which kind of come in and out of the garden uh, but more time much more time than we have right now mm -hmm. and then a few maybe still some apprentices who carry the ongoing work because that still is a need. Mm -hmm. uh, just you know, there's a lot of needs just to keep it running. Yeah, yeah. And but then others could they could come more to the garden and learn more there. Yeah, yeah. We would need other places as well for practical work. I'm thinking maybe something similar to what they have at Amazon College. Yeah. But this is still a few years down the road. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, it's exciting. I think it's very exciting for the college to get accreditation because, in a certain way, it um, brings a different professionalism to the work here uh, that is needed. And so, people also a need in society for really for degrees mm -hmm. and for academic work that is actually has a meaning in the world mm -hmm. that, that we can fulfill this year is very exciting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, have you got any contact with other biodynamic farms? In Are there other farms in the area? Yes. We don't have much uh, larger farms. I would love to see more also large-scale agriculture. Mm -hmm. We don't have much of that. We have many smaller farms, uh, maybe more CSA farms that right. sell the yeah. produce directly. Yeah. Um, but we don't have much larger, sort of a real good scale large farm that would attract also attention of the farming world. Yeah. I wish we had more of this. I've been yeah. wanting this for decades, but it yeah. hasn't materialized. Yeah. Uh, Where do the students go after they leave here? The apprentices. Yeah. Uh, they go to various places. They, some of them really become farmers. Some um, may work in... Uh, landscaping, uh, garden teaching, um, or something totally different, and yet then it would be something that really was important. It's in a, their foundation, life. a foundation, a foundation for, absolutely. Yeah, and yes. an appreciation for also what the physical, etheric, and astral, yes. and you know the eye is as far as uh, yeah that is concerned. Yes, yes, they learn a lot and they learn uh, also to be just healthily in their body. Yeah. And there yeah. are many people, I mean mostly those who are drawn to the garden either are types that need just a physical activity or they feel they have a, a, a lack or they want to be more grounded in this direction. Yeah, yeah. So we have both people who are really fit. I love those because they become farmers. Yes, yes. <laughs> because I want yes. to see more of those, but also yeah. others who feel they need to be more working with rhythms and to be more yeah. properly incarnated. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you use um, uh, the um, calendar um, for the sowing uh, the, of the seeds? Mm -hmm. uh, the mm -hmm. um, planting calendar? Yes, yeah. yes, I use it and people use it in different ways. Mm -hmm. I personally work uh, primarily with uh, the phases 
phases uh, of the moon and, mm -hmm. and not with the constellations. So there's mm -hmm. two different directions or two maybe main directions that people uh, look at the phases and plant mostly before the full moon mm -hmm. or towards the full moon and then the other stream where people look at constellation where the moon is or what rather what constellation is behind the moon. Yes. I yes. have a different understanding that actually the moon is reflecting. That's how I understood it from Rudolf Steiner's agricultural lectures, that the moon is a reflector. And so it's exactly. more really what the moon brings across, sort of from what does it take in, yeah. but not what's behind it, but rather what it takes in. So yeah, I work yeah. this way. Yeah. And um, uh, do you, uh, in other words, the the whole, I, I uh, from my understanding it is, when the when you want to do something that has roots, mm -hmm. you have to do something different than when something has leaves. Yeah, yeah. This is, but that's the idea of the constellation. Yeah. And uh -huh. I, I um, cannot really. Um, I personally, I did experiments too. I didn't uh, mm -hmm. sort of see it in see it clearly, but I also don't understand it this way. Mm -hmm. I rather ex. I, I extend. I understand the dynamic of the process of growth that actually you need for every plant you need good roots you need mm -hmm. good leaves yes. so everything is needed mm -hmm. and um, actually I don't understand uh -huh. <laughs> well, they, well they, you know uh, I mean uh, that I think I was talking to Sherry Wildfire mm -hmm. and she mm -hmm. said you know whenever the whenever you have a root crop, mm. you transplant it I on know. a different yeah, time yes, than course, the other. Yes. Yeah. So this is the idea with using the constellations versus the uh, phases. Uh -huh. Right. And uh, it's popular particularly with gardeners, not as much with farmers. Yeah, because they just sow outside. Well, they they to, don't uh, transplant anything. I well, don't. they do. They may, or, or, or they may start their, even their row crops, but um, it's... Uh, it's not as common with, with farmers mm -hmm. to do it this way, but rather you have to see also when you can do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can't always sort of um, <laughs> have your, 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 your pick. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Uh, yeah, sometimes yes, you have to do yes. it. She oh. said that too. Regardless, do, it, do whatever you need to do. Right, absolutely. Right. Uh, tell me a little bit about what you were doing with the compost today, mm -hmm. because I filmed that a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, yeah, so we, we put the biodynamic preparations into it. Mm -hmm. So the compost was in the, had been in the barn, in the sheep barn, in the sheep pen, and we mucked out. And um, so we added these uh, herbal preparations of yarrow mm -hmm. and of chamomile, of yeah, sting and herb, that, yeah. and dand uh, oak bark, and, and dandelion, valerian. and valerian flower juice. Right. And we added this at a rate of a teaspoon for. It's amazing. Up to five yards or so. It, the the, the mm. compost pile looks lovely. Mm. Anyway, yes. so I'm kind of running out of mm. juice here. Mm. Um, I want to thank you very much for mm. spending a little bit mm. of time mm. with me yeah. because I think this helps the young people find maybe their way to gardening mm. and farming. Mm. Mm. So thank you, Harold. Over. Sure, sure. All right. What is the temperature, did you say? Even when there was frost. That one is... Um, oh, right. This section on the new section, which is going to be more hot, is 125. And this and has this been is cold, here. huh? Yeah. Probably 80. 80 uh, it's actually 90. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Into the depth of the compost. We're doing close-ups of manure, huh? Yes, how do you like that? Oh, you can go with the poke holes, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're going to put the preparations in. Yeah. Can we just use the sheep? What is it? It kind of looks like a worm or yeah. so. Sheep I have formed us perfect. Yeah. Um, it's okay. Or what you want more it's, clay like? It's you okay, want? it's just. <laughs> dines? <laughs> it's actually dines. Yeah. <laughs> I took it from your garden. Yeah, yeah. It's just yeah, dines. Bark. And dandelion. Mm. Forgot yeah. one more. Valerian. Okay. Valerian. Oh, that's the important part. Yeah. There we go. I would take something softer, more. You can. Mm, 
And these two are sleeping. Let's have a look what the temperature is. And here's the compost from this morning, all covered up with all the valerian and oak bark and all the other things in it. Resting, heating up, becoming compost. It's not something for the soil, but rather in the atmosphere. And so uh, when you do it with sunrise, or ideally around sunrise, or you stir at least during sunrise, then it kind of is more with this, the whole earth is breathing out in the morning. And then it would be part of this and would stay better in the atmosphere. While the whole manure in the afternoon as the earth is breathing in. Mostly. Some people use silica also in the afternoon when it is towards maturation for a crop. So that's, I haven't done it, but could possibly be done. All it's right, Luke. For an hour as well. Yes. All right. So you can put them in there, somebody can. Or maybe maybe what we should do, I wonder, I have do sort of just for, 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 for a um, warm-up. Warm okay. Warm-up. Okay. They're not necessarily, we use these, then okay. we just want to do a little bit of um, pairing and also getting the food. Mm, it looks like a beautiful rain. Mm -hmm. So you see, that's the first step, actually. Maybe you should use the smaller one, too. Could you please um, uh, try this out? You want to do any in here, or no? Yeah, sure, why not? Maybe now the next step, also to clean that out a little bit. Let's clean this out a little bit. I'm glad you guys coordinated outfits. Yeah, right. Oh, I know. Yeah. There's all plans. And we should do it right. Edify, edify, flowers yes yeah. and but then they're blue because with heritage mm -hmm. but then it's a farmer shirt mm -hmm. so it's a over it's kitchen what, what are they called no. anyway so we have put into farmers it's good <laughs> so the next step would be here to grind it with this grind it as hard as possible it takes a little while it's just a warm-up, actually. It's not the final. We are only here cleaning the all this. One, we do our best. Not yeah, yeah, maybe now we take it over there. And now we're going to turn this light. Who, who wants to? Um,